I am Surya Eskumar pursuing MTech in VLSA and Embedded System at Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology, Kerala, India. Today, I am here to have a presentation on my topic, a comparative study on the diagnosis of skin cancer using different models in deep learning. Skin cancer, it is a common form of cancer and early detection increases the survival rates. It is seen that above 52% of people are affected by skin cancer every year. And this paper presents a comparison of different types of deep learning models used to detect skin cancer. And it is based on the convolutional neural network the skin cancer detection is done. The different models in CNN are used, namely ResNet 18, AlexNet and ResNet 15. Transfer learning is a neural network model which is also used to used in skin cancer diagnosis. HAM 10,000 is a skin cancer data set which is used and the accuracy obtained in different models are then compared. Machine learning. Machine learning it is a subset of artificial intelligence and deep learning it is a subset of machine learning. There are different neural networks used and one among them is a convolutional neural Deep learning. Deep learning is a way to extract useful patterns from the data in an automated way. That is, deep learning computing is a subset of machine learning that consists of networks which will read unattended data from informal or uneducated data. It is also called deep neural network. Deep neural network or DNN could be a synthetic neural network with multiple layers between input and output layers. DNN finds a proper mathematical idea to indicate on input, be it linear equations or nonlinear relationships. The network goes through a calculation to calculate the probability of an output. Now convolutional neural network. A convolutional neural network is a deep learning algorithm which can take in input images, assign importance to various objects in the image and be able to differentiate from one another. That is using convolutional neural network we can um, assign or we can differentiate the objects from one another. The architecture of convolution net is analogous to that of the connectivity pattern of neurons in the human brain and was inspired by the organization of the visual cortex. That is, the architecture of convolution neural network, it mimics the human brain and its organization is inspired by the visual cortex. Now the CNN architecture. The CNN has four convolution layers, three max pooling layers, fully, two fully connected layers and one soft max output layer. CNN has two components, mainly feature extraction and classification. Now, feature extraction. The network will perform a series of convolutions and polling operations during which the features are detected. The convolution is performed on the input data with the use of a filter to produce a feature map. And now classification. Classification part consists of a fully connected layer, few fully connected layers. The fully connected layers will serve as a classifier on the top of these extracted features. And feature extraction consists of convolution layer, la ReLU layer and max pooling layers. First one is convolution layer. Convolution layer are the major building blocks used in, used in convolution neural networks. Convolution is a linear operation that involves multiplication of a set of weights with input. Multiplication is performed between an array of input data and two dimensional array of weights called as filters. ReLU layer. ReLU stands for rectified linear unit. It is, a comp it is computed after the convolution and it is linear for all positive values and zero for all negative values. That is, ReLU it acts as a filter and it will only pass the positive side of a wave. That is, it will neglect the negative part. For negative part, it, uh, the value will be zero. The main advantage of using the ReLU function is that it does not activate all the neurons at the same time. Pooling layers. A pooling layer is another building block of a CNN. Its function is to progressively reduce the spatial size of the representation to reduce the amount of parameters and computations in the network. Now, here shows, here shows the workflow of skin cancer detection using CNN. Initially, we start with the reading of the data set, then we normalize the data set, then we define the CNN, followed by defining the loss function, then train the network, test network based on the trained data, validate the data, and finally we will calculate the loss function and the accuracy. The workflow of skin cancer detection is uh, using CNN is shown. Initially, load the data set and normalize the data. 
the data normalization can can be done using image augmentation and the need to define the model used and also the network that is uh, the data normalization is done by image augmentation then we need to define the model we are using and also the network the convolution neural network is used and the network used is ResNet 18, AlexNet and ResNet 15. Using, three, using these three networks, we will perform the skin cancer detection. Now, define the loss function of the data set, then train the network. Here, supervised learning is used to train the data net network. That is, there will be a pre-trained data set. Then, split the data into test and train data, followed by testing and training. Now, validate the data and finally, accuracy and loss is obtained. For skin cancer detection, it is done by looking at the images from the data set. The skin cancer is classified into seven classes as follows. That is Bowney's disease, basal cell carcinoma, benign keralysis like lesions, dermatofibroma, melanoma, melanocytic nevi, and vascular lesions. Here we are using HAM 10,000 skin can cancer data set and the code is executed in Google Collaboratory using Python. The deep learning model uses convolutional neural network and ResNet 18 was used. First, we need to download the data in our collab environment. After downloading the data, extract the data set. Then we can display any one content from the data set. This is done to check whether the data set has been loaded properly. Next, the data set is divided into different classes, say, say seven classes which have been described earlier. Now the data set is converted to PyTorch, PyTorch data set since we are using the PyTorch platform. Then to train our data, 80% of the data set is used and 20% of the data set is used for validation and accuracy testing. We will, we will be utilizing the pre-trained ResNet 18 model and tune it with final output layers matching our requirements. Next iteration is done in 32 layers for 7 classes. Then the test and validation accuracy and loss is tested. Finally, the skin cancer detection is done and identified different classes of skin cancer. Now transfer learning in convolutional neural network. Transfer learning is a technique where a model trained on one task is repurposed on a second related task. Take a model trained on a large data set and transfer its knowledge to a smaller data set. We first train a base network on the base data set and task and then we repurpose the learned features on the tran uh, or transfer them to a second target network to be trained on a target data set and task. This process will tend to work if the features are general meaning suitable to both base and target task instead to a specific base task that is for both the data set the task will be uh, task should be uh, similar and the features should be general then only we can perform transfer learning generally refers to a process where a model trained on one problem is used in some way on a second related problem we first train histopathological cancer detection data set that is identify metastatic tissue in histopathological scans of limb node sections then using this we loaded the skin cancer data set that is HAM 10,000 data set and obtained an improved accuracy. The modeling was done in CNN using ResNet 15. The skin cancer data set was loaded then 12 epochs were done and accuracy were obtained. Here is the accuracy and loss curve of skin cancer detection using CNN and using transfer learning and thus we can conclude that using uh, CNN the accuracy obtained is 78.03 using AlexNet it is 98.32 and transfer learning is 96.3. Thus we can conclude that skin cancer detection can be done using various deep learning models with improved accuracy. This is a comprehensive paper on the diagnosis of skin cancer using convolutional neural network. Another important benefit of CNN is that it detects important features without being monitored by anyone and different layers on CNN give more selective results. Here ResNet 18, AlexNet and transfer learning in CNN using ResNet 50 was used for skin cancer detection and different accuracies were obtained. The accuracy obtained using ResNet 18 was 78.03. Uh, percentage using AlexNet was 98.32 percentage and using transfer learning was res transfer learning with ResNet 50 was 96.129 percentage. Thank you.